very cold and windy out today. And it's days like these when I like to get out and kind of do a walk about, search for wildlife, any signs of life, see what's going on out in the woods, and test out something. And today I'm testing out insulation. This is a heat sheet space blanket made of polyethylene. I grabbed the small or petite size. I would normally use a large, but I wanted to see if I can get some use out of this one. Its measurements are 142 centimeters wide times 213 centimeters long. That's about 56 inches wide and 84 inches long. It claims to be easy to open and refold. It's waterproof, reusable, and its other uses are a tent floor liner, light shelter, or to cover gear. And it claims to be durable, reusable, repairable, tear resistant, and quieter. And, uh, it's something that people don't talk a whole lot about, but one of the most important things in this kind of environment is insulation. You know, aside from shelter and your other survival gear, if you don't have the proper insulation, you're going to be in trouble before long. And uh, it's often talk about, you know, if cotton kills and if you get wet, you die, you sweat, you die. Uh, and they are important things. I usually wear a combination material. It's usually a, a cotton material blended with a man-made material, which this field jacket is. But uh, I do own material that's solely man-made. But I found the best insulators to be down and wool. For me, anyway. Personally, I find that they, uh, they seem to allow the moisture to leave you and they retain the heat. So. Through my suggestions, in fact, I got wool socks on, and my feet, even if they were to get wet, they tend to stay warm, yeah, except in the most severe conditions, of course. But uh, very comfortable right now with a couple layers, and I want to test out a space blanket. In order to test it out, I, of course, have to take my layers off and see if it, it really works without all this clothing. What I have here is a heat sheet. It's a small petite sized and I'm going to test it out see what value it has for insulation now I've been hiking for a while and I've worked up a good sweat so I want to get out of these clothes and let them air out really windy out here. In fact, I'm getting up out of here now before I end up in trouble. Alright, my conclusion on the heat sheet. Remember I bought the petite size, which is a little bigger than your standard space blanket that you'll find out there. I'm going to pay a couple dollars extra for this. They do come in medium and large. I highly recommend getting a large. But I was out there in cotton undergarments. Very thin cotton pants, cotton t-shirt, cotton underwear, out there working up a sweat. My outer garments were 65% polyester, 35% cotton, right, which is a standard for me. I like comfort, but I also like to have a little bit of insulation that's going to allow the moisture to escape and keep me warm. 
worked up a good sweat, took off my outer garments, stuck with wet cotton garments, put on the space blanket, which is a thing that you want to do, put on some kind of insulation that's going to allow you to get rid of that moisture underneath so that you can put back on the other insulation and be warm when your body cools down after an activity. I did it and I found it worked very well. A uh, couple notes. When the space blanket is touching the skin, it feels a little cooler if you have more air space, maybe an inch or more, maybe two inches at the most. It has very excellent insulating properties. It does block the wind and it holds heat very well. And that was with the petite or small. And I do believe it stands up to its claims on the package that it is durable reusable, waterproof, etc. I folded it back up, fits back in the container with no problem. I would definitely buy more of these and have one in my vehicle, maybe a couple in my vehicle for other members of the family. People are getting stuck out on them roads today. And I would have them in every outdoor or survival pack. It's my opinion. Uh, I welcome yours. Just uh, be nice. This was just one example of the use of a space blanket in a delicate situation where you're out in a cold, windy environment and you're wet with sweat. Uh, there's many other examples that can be displayed. I just wanted to put one out there that would be common to people who are out hiking with common gear. Not high-end gear, not survival gear, but common gear out hiking. You're wet with sweat. Say the sun's going down, it's getting really cold. And as you cool down, you risk hypothermia. This is one way that you can get yourself dried off and get warmed back up so that you don't run into real danger. There's much more to say on insulation, and I'm sure I'll be putting some stuff out on it. Uh, the stuff that I choose to wear is my personal use. Uh, I'm sure there's much better items on the market today. But uh, I'm comfortable with what I got, and I learn how to use and survive in what I use. So, questions, comments, you're welcome, but uh, please remember this is just one example. This is not the end-all, be-all of tests or examples of insulators.